What's up, guys? It's King Daddy DMac, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here on the Hermitcraft Feed the Bee server. Starting off episode two, things are going well. Not a single crash yet. Oh, yeah, baby. So good to be on a real nice server now. Anyway, um, today our main project is going to be pumping some lava into our geothermal is going to be important so that we can have plenty excess of power um got your assassin over here is moving all these cows because they have been driving me freaking nuts them and the chickens with all their mooing and clucking anyway been busy harvesting up these cacti and let's go ahead and make all of our waterproofing for the pipes i'm trying to debate what type of pipes i'm gonna actually need not really sure the whole plan is going to be let's go ahead and make our little uh tanks here i'm going to move this around make it kind of mobile and uh, just keep pumping lava in and eventually we'll make our own lava or switch to a different energy source but anyway let's just head over here where's that dang hole i had there it is there she be. All right. Right down in here. We got... It's a kind of smaller lava pool, but it's good enough to get us started. Here we go. So this is what we're going to be pumping out first. It may only be one or two deep, but again, decent enough. Decent enough. So let's see here. I think what I'm going to do is actually put the pump... Probably right around in here. We'll pump that into a first tank and then from that tank pump to a second tank. So it's been a while since I've even had to use one of these pumps. Ever since they added in that aqueous accumulator. But I guess we will have our first tank right around here maybe. And then this is going to be for our piping. So, since we have the stairs there, I'll lift this back up. Ooh, we have something sneaking in there. All right. And I guess we will... hum diddy dum Where should we put it? Where should we put it? I'm going to put our tank right here, I guess. This will be good. So, let's throw our tanks up and pump out all this lava. I could do it in two separate stages instead of setting it all up at once. But that is good. I'm going to head back and find that pump that I made. So things are going a little slower. I think this time I'm going to show a lot of the beginning steps. I did it in the last time. I only had one episode. I was trying to rush and catch up to where we had been in the very first server. But this time, I'm just going to show all the steps. Might as well. And this is going to be the final time that we ever have to restart. So, and really, if I didn't mention that last time, the problem was the miscraft. Should not have been added in. It was a really bad idea. And uh, that's pretty much what corrupted the world. So this time, we're just going straight. Greg Tech with the Minecraft pack, and we shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. But let's see. Let's make some of these bad boys some levers, so that should be good. And let's make some piping. Um, I guess just to save a little bit of time, let's start off with some cobblestone waterproof pipes, and then we'll upgrade as needed. I used up all the glass. All right, let me cook up some stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, so this should be good enough. Let's throw in some cobblestone like that, a nice little glassy glass in the middle, and we'll get our cobblestone transport pipe. Now, we got to convert this over to waterproof. So just like that, and that's what we needed the cactus for. Very important, very important. We had some wood as well. I might as well switch it all over, and we all good. So got our redstone engines which we're going to use as the pumps. Let's head back down. And 
And did I grab... Good, I grabbed the pump. Alright, now how should we arrange this? I'm trying to remember exactly the way the pump worked. I can't remember. I want to say that you may... I'm kind of curious about this now. This, I'm going to be freestyle a little bit because it may not be proper. But I'm curious if it will pump it all out if I just have it like that. It will be very convenient if it does. So now let's get this started. I could use a better engine to make it go a little bit faster. But for now I think just these redstones should be good enough for a nice little cheap start. Alright, so I guess I'll throw just to make this go as fast as possible. I'll throw three of them on. Alright, and one more. Awesome. Let's throw our switches. Boom, boom. Let's start pumping. Come on, baby. Work for me, work for me. Let's just cover this up to be a little bit safer. I'm not sure if it has to be touching more towards the source, but I think it should pull from anywhere in there within a certain number of blocks. If you remember back when I did my first quarry, it just tore up the whole ocean there, and it was pulling from really far away. Yep, it is working. It is a working. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, so let's get the rest of our pipe set up now. And I'm going to need a wood one, I do believe, to be connected first. Just so that we have a walkway. Do it like that. And throw you there. Let's throw our pump on. Just like so. Oop. There we go. Awesome. Throw another lever right there to turn it on and off. Let's just carve out a little spot for the piping to go. So we're obviously going to have to make a little bit more pipe. All right. We go up. Awesome and over. You know what? I'm going to make it go one more up just so that we don't obstruct our walkway. So I'm going to carve this all out and I'll be right back. Oh man, we need this real bad. We're almost out of power. What I've been doing up until now is just cutting down the trees, turning it into charcoal, and having to do that all by hand manually. So this is going to be a lifesaver. Our bat box is just about out of power. All right, so I'm going to do it this way instead of carving on the side. Uh-oh. I hear mobs. They're probably above us. But we're just going to do it right over here. I found a nice little spot that's right below our home. And hopefully this won't be an issue for it. It's probably going to go extremely slow, the lava. But it's okay if it's only at a trickle. Right, almost there. Let's just grab this iron, because we need it. I haven't done much mining at all yet. But I think this is of the utmost importance. All right. I think that's the right level. Hopefully I can... Yes. Alright, so good so far. And this will bring us up right next to our home. Perfect. Alright, so our... Any mobs around? Okay. Probably going to want to knock it down just a few steps.
Alright, it's connected in. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, perfect. So now let's step in our little back office here. I think I'm going to do... Is that going to be too close? You know what? We're going to have to move this chest. Didn't want to do it. Or we could just have our little lava thing a little bit outside. Maybe that's the better plan here. So we'll do our tank right here instead. I think so. I think so. We'll have it right here. It's just like that. Sorry, guys. I know you wanted to be there directly in, but you're not going to get the opportunity. All right. And finally, our last little one right like that. Awesome. So, our little, poor little lone pump, hopefully we'll be able to pump all that ways. Let's just see if we've got enough glass to extend these tanks a bit. Oh, see? Completely lost power. Oh, this better work on the first try. So let's get a whole bunch more tanks. This guy going way up high. Oop, oop, oop. Alright, good enough for me for now. Now we've got to pump this directly into the geothermal. So again, that chest is going to have to move. But for now, let's just grab this cobble pipe and we'll extend this over. Do our wood one so that we can have the little. Pumpity pump. Nice. And let's cover her up just a tad. Should have. Nope. Got to make one more of those redstone bad boys. This is pretty much everything I have to my name thus far. Gold always seems to be so common for me. Not exactly sure why. Right, and wood gears, wood gears. I know I had a whole bunch of them. Did I use them all up? Looks like I did. All right, so we'll make a few more. One, two. All righty. We got our switch. Okay, well, let's put this last little step on, and this will pump to our actual generator. Let's get our switch. And we are desperate right now, so we're not going to worry about how it looks yet. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Food, food, food. Get out of here, you dumb zombies. I can finally fight mobs now in this server. So much less lag for me. It is just tremendous. Our last one, it was out of Germany. But this bad boy is through... Oh no! Through Cubos. Just like Hermitcraft. Alright. Well, thanks, I guess. Kind of. Alright, let's get down here quick before we have any other bad encounters. How are we doing on the pump? Oh, perfect. Let's turn this bad boy on. And we'll block you up for now. Just watch to see if this lava goes through. I'm really hoping it will make it all the way. We may, we're definitely going to have to upgrade to a better pipe system. Going, going. Come on, you can do it little lava train that thought he could. I think I can. I think I can. We're making it. We're making it. 
Nice. I think this should be fine. I think it's not an issue of how far it really pumps. I think it's more the amount of lava that it can pump through each pipe. just to make sure that this is a pretty good distance. All right, it's a moving, it's a moving. All right, I think it's gonna do it. I really hope so. Let's go ahead back up top and take a look. God, it's daytime now. All right. Did you make it? It's probably be in the generator already. No. Come on, lava. I'm going to shut this off, actually, for a second, just so that we can watch it accumulate. Oh, there it goes. Yes, it worked. Awesome. So just a little quickie way to get some power. Got our generator working. We'll turn the pump back on since we know it works. And only a little bit, just enough to get us charging up the machines. How's our bat box doing? And our bat box is gaining power. Awesome. I am psyched. So I'm sure that lava pool will get sucked up pretty quick, and then I'm just going to head all the way down to bedrock and look for the biggest one I can. Whew! Thank God. Anyway, I'm going to check on how our time's doing and see if we have time for another little quickie project. All right, well, we have plenty of time left, but... Unfortunately, our lava pool was pretty, pretty tiny here. So I think we're going to have to go in search. What the heck is this? Huh. I think we're going to have to go in search of a much larger lava pool if we want to maintain this for any period of time that's going to be useful. So I'm going to go on the hunt for some bigger, better lava pools, and then we will reset this up for that. All right, guys, so I finally found, pretty much you just saw, we're at bedrock. Finally found a nice little thing of lava, and it looks like it's going to extend pretty far, be one of those big, big lava lakes. We're at level 7. So I think I'm going to set up again right here, and um, this time I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to, instead of doing a pipe going all the way up, I want to do a tank. Because normally, we have the tanks going, you know, way, way up in the air. And it looks so ugly. Really need to start using the iron tanks, I think they're called. Whatever the, um... Oh, whatever those are. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to do this. It's going to be expensive, but um, it'll be nice. Because then, whenever I find a pocket of lava, I can just bring it straight to this and not have to worry about having a ton of waterproof pipe. So I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll see how it does. And for now, we'll just use this many maybe. No, we'll go down a little bit. And we will continue it up. But each one of these is eight glass. So we need eight stacks of it. So it's going to be a little expensive, but definitely doable. So let's get this pump set up again. And oof. For this, let's clear this area out a little bit. Once again. Give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. Alright, I think that's good. And let's see. I'm going to do it again where it's a little bit off to the side. It seemed to work well. Let's see here. I'll put the pump right like... Oh, right like that. Good enough, good enough. We'll throw in the engines. I guess we want th three of them. So I guess we'll do the engines there. And you know what? Two might even be enough. I'm going to try and just do two this time to pump it out. Because we're, we're getting the lava quicker than we're using it. All right. And then if I just go like so... 
should work well. I'm a little nervous the fact that I would have liked this to be at like level 13 instead. So it's not going to be super deep, but hopefully it seems like it goes on pretty far. So it should hold us over for a while. Let's turn that baby on. And so let's get it piped over. So do we have, should be enough piping. Go, ooh, ooh. Going to want to have at least one tank here next to it. Um, I'll do the tank. Right, I guess like that. We'll fill it up. Let's find out. Not looking too good. I'll just throw it next to it and that should. I know, I'm so impatient. <laughs> Um, anywho, let's get on our wooden pipe then, right like so, and we'll attach another engine, I guess right there. And so let's get this brought around. Um, we're going to end up just walking on the pipe, I think, this time. So let's turn that baby on. All right. So let's bring this all the way down. Hopefully I have enough on me. Yeah, I have almost a whole stack. All right, looks good. So it's going to pump that up. Ooh, and I forgot to point out, look, I found diamonds. Woo. So I think there might even be more. Let's see how many. Is it just going to be one? Oh, what a cheap find. Oh, well. Anyway, we're going to save off until we have Silk Touch or Fortune 3 to get that. So we'll just leave it right there. No biggie. Let's head back up and uh, let's make a couple other things to get our machines working faster. All right, the sun's coming up. Sweet. Won't have to worry about mobs. And this is where our little stair thing is. So it's just right off to the side of our tank. So that's pretty good. But what I've been using for sand for to get the glass is I've just been taking the cobble that I've been mining. So there's not too much sand around here. Be nice, there doesn't seem to be a desert all that close. But um, I wanna make some more of these overclockers and they're really not that hard to make. All you got to do is get a bunch of these electric circuits, easy enough, just made just like that. And we have, yep, we have our water on us, just about out of 10. But we got to make three of these 10K coolant cells. And then from there, you just put three of those on top and um, a circuit in the middle and then two of the copper things on the side. And these are freaking amazing. Now you can move them in and out and switch them between machines, which I really like. It doesn't go away when you break them, but um, let's get some cobble and start to macerate it. So see how freaking godly slow this goes. It takes forever. It's killing me. Just inches along. So, but as soon as you stick an overclocker in, it starts to speed up. Look at that. Just one. Quite a bit. And then with four of them, it's not quite as fast as the rotary macerator, macerator, but it's pretty dang fast. I can definitely deal with that. Now we can also put in a bunch of other conversions that will change it. I think from low voltage to medium voltage, maybe even to high voltage, and it should go really quick. So then the same goes with the um, electric furnace. Let's grab some sand. When I throw that bad boy, it goes faster than the macerator, but it's still inches along. However, as soon as you stick those upgrades in there, it goes significantly faster. So I'm going to make probably another four of these bad boys and get these both clocked out. And what else did I want to make today? Ooh. While we're waiting for all of our glass to be made for the tanks, I think I'd like to upgrade to an MFE today. So let's do that. I have my rubies here. Thank God, because this is going to save us. Let's look up the 
MFE. I know we've made this several times together already, but you got to use these energy crystals. Other than that, just gold and the machine block. But normally, yeah, pretty expensive. Four diamonds, but no, you can use rubies. And rubies are fairly common. So it ends up working out nicely. So let's make a bunch of those. Oh, man, I'm just loving this server. I'm really happy. As much as it sucks that we started over, I'm really liking doing it the Hermitcraft way. All right, so, ooh, and we have upgrade ones right there. Boom. Now let's throw these bad boys in. All right, and that was the right position. Great. All we need to do is make our machine block and get some of these gold double insulated ones. Now the gold ones, they're a little bit pricier with the rubber because if you put in one, see it insulates it once. But if you do it twice, I think it's like that. Yeah, you gotta do two rubbers per cable, but we just need four. Awesome. And let's see here, get our machine block. Awesome. Oh, and we're doing it in that other crafting table. Almost forgot. Here we go. Throw those bad boys around the side and our machine block in the middle. MFE. So upgrade our power. Now, since this is going to be the medium voltage, we also need to make the um, low voltage transformer to switch it back. Otherwise, it's going to explode our pipe. So for that, we're going to need three copper and two of those little copper wires. So let's get one, two, three. And the rest was all wood. I think I have enough wood on me. Do I? No, where's all my freaking wood? Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? That is unfortunate. Do I really not have any wood? Nope. Okay. I really like this new type of wood. I always pronounce it wrong, so I'm not going to even attempt it. But, yeah. Alright, so our MFE. Let's make this bad boy right here. Three coppers. I think it was like that maybe. Yeah. So then we got our low voltage transformer. So let's take that. Take that. Just chug it chugging along. Um, I'm going to wait till this stack finishes. And then we will manage our way back in here. In fact, we could start to do that right now. We have to upgrade our wiring. Give me a moment to situate myself. All right, got my wrench out. Let's take out this bat box right here. Bada bing. And I guess we'll go in from this side. Like so. Now, we're not going to be able to... Well, we could use this wire, actually. That should be fine. But this is probably the cruddiest wire you can use. But we're still going to stay on low voltage for now. All right, so from right here, we are, in fact, going to throw in our MFE right here. So it's touching no machines, but it's touching both of our generators. So that will end up working well. Now we want to have it pointing backwards. So it will work just fine like that. Perfect. Now this coming out of here is going to be the medium voltage. So we're going to actually have to aim the, our, this transceiver right here the three prong is going to have to aim into the medium voltage and then out of all the one prongs will be the low voltage now it's sometimes a little tricky to get it matched up right but oh what blew up oh, was there wiring on top that blew up i don't even know let's see All right, now we don't want to aim to that way. So I think we're going to have to, unfortunately, break our little wall back here. And the trick, if you don't know already, um, if you aimed it this way, it would do the three prong towards us. But if we hold shift and then right click, it's going to put the free prong to that. Now we have finally safe voltage coming out. Now I'm going to end up replacing this with our battery box. And I'm thinking that might have been what just exploded. 
I don't know, but I don't seem to have it on me. Let's run around back in here and see what happened. Did I throw away my bat box? The bat box was right there. What in the Lord did I put it? Where the heck? Oh well, well it's not even necessary at this point. Oh, you know what? I thought I had the transceiver, but that was actually the bat box the first time, and that's what exploded. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's just make sure all of our wiring's in place. From here, I'm just going to not use that wire because I... oh no, I do. Good. Just throw a copper wire, just like so. Later on, I'm going to replace that with a bat box so that it can split down and up. But for now, that should be good. Hopefully, did this blow up? Yeah, some of our piping. All right. Let's put this back to our generator. Awesome. And should be charging up. Let's see. Very good, very good. And see, now we have 600,000 EU. Much better. And a much faster output. And here, I can actually start doing some more upgrades on our thing to change the voltage as well. But we're not going to do that today. Anyway, I'll see you back once I have enough for all of the glass uh, tanks. Hey, look who came to visit us. Right now, me and Hypno are... Well, I guess this is for everyone. This is the spawn home, but me and Hypno have been putting in most of the time here. Anyway, we got all of our glass done. Let's get all these tanks all set. Awesome! Let's go fill them in, bottom to top. I guess we'll start at the bottom. All right, awesome. Um, Let's see, how are we going to get over there? Do it just like that. Good enough, good enough. And so let's just jump on top of them and bring ourselves all the way up. I think this will be cool. I know it's very unnecessary, but I don't know, almost like a tree trunk coming all the way up and then we'll have all the different branches of lava coming in. And eventually when we're done, just knock it right out and I'll have a bunch of tanks for another project. So and I guess this isn't really cheaper than pipe, but I like it. I like it. All right, how am I gonna get out here? That should work. Awesome. It went zoop. Okay. Now it still should be pumping out just fine. Shouldn't make any difference that the lava is at the bottom versus the top. We could probably even completely hide this tank. That was the next order of business that I was thinking of doing. Knock these out, though, because they're absolutely unnecessary. That is an ungodly large tank down below. Just go ahead like that. And I think that'll be good enough. I'll probably rearrange the pipe later so it's completely flush and hidden. But as you can see, it is still pumping out the lava. So very nice, very nice. And I'm kind of curious, it might even be faster this way. Like instantaneous, because it reads this, I'm assuming, as one unit instead of like a pipe that brings it up and down. So that might be a curious thing to keep in mind in the future with piping. Of course, you have to set up an engine whenever you want to go then vertically. But I think that is good. Got our MFE in. Still charging up. Got our geothermal full. Got our overclockers. I didn't get a chance to make any more. I'm getting tin made as we speak. But I'm going to go ahead and fully clock these out. And I think that's a better idea because with the rotary um, macerators and the induction furnace, when you're using limited sources of energy like lava, this isn't going to go on forever. It's eventually it's going to run up. And if someone forgets to turn off those two, they will continue consuming energy, which is very frustrating. It happened to Hypno all the time at his base last time. So this time, doing it this way with the overclockers, 
once it's done cooking, it doesn't use up any additional energy than the charge that's already in there. So very nice. Let's just go ahead, get three more. I'll make one last one with you on camera. Sweet. And let's see, I put it right here. Awesome, and I'll save the rest for another project later. But I think two should be enough. And look at how much fast that goes each time. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it. Come next time, I'm really trying hard to harvest as much of this uh, flax seed as I can to get all the string. And we'll probably put up another windmill. I found some new stuff out about it that I was doing wrong, and also of red power, thanks to you guys and your comments. But um, we'll probably get on to the red power and a bit of Thomcraft next time because I'm really looking forward to this mod. I know I've talked about it, but we're going to actually start doing it. So anyway, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, having a great time on the server, and it feels good to be lag-free. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Make sure to remember and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video because it does help me out quite a bit. And... Uh, See you next time. Peace out.